I've got this, I bought this huge, I don't know why, cowboy steak. It's got a big bone that's been trimmed out. It's like four pounds, probably three pounds. I don't know. But it's been in the freezer a while. I, I used my uh, vacuum sealer and uh, the food saver. And I don't even know if it's good. So this video could end really quick. So I'm going to open it up, make sure uh, it's still, still doing good. You can always tell by just, I mean, basically by smell, you know. Oh, we got ourselves a video. You guys ready? I'm using pink Himalayan salt. Cracked black pepper. I'm loving it. So I learned a few things about when you sear. If you use butter, you can burn butter. But I love that flavor of butter. So I put it in there, right? But if you add oil to it, a little olive oil, it raises the smoking temperature of the butter so that you can get a higher heat for searing. All right, so let's set our steak in. Okay, so while that's searing in the background, we're gonna take some, I got some Merlot wine, beef broth, Worcestershire sauce, do some granulated onion, granulated garlic, Montreal steak seasoning, a little oregano, a little basil. Whisk that all together. Doesn't that look gorgeous? It's like good enough to eat. I mean, not really, it's kind of raw right now inside, but it looks good. So I'm gonna pour in my, my liquid first, not all of it, just some of it. Then I'm gonna place in some onions and some celery, put in some carrots. Then I'm gonna pour in some more liquid. Wow, this is a big pan. And I'm gonna go about, about an inch from the top. Now let's get my meat thermometer in there. I'm gonna put it in the side, come in from the side and go straight into the center of this big beast of a steak. Put your lid on. Now you're gonna bake this at 350 for about two and a half hours. I've never done a cowboy steak before. So let's get it in and I will see you guys in a bit. Whoops, I forgot a hot plate. Hold on a minute. All right, let's set this hot lid somewhere that nobody can get hurt. Let's put it right on the stove, right there. Wow, look at that. You always wonder, did it take? Is it really tender? Is it all dried out? Try to, oh, okay, well that just pulled right off, see that? That came off really easy. Put that back in the, in the juice. Let's grab another piece. Just fork tender, right? Just like that, nice. I wanna show you these, these carrots are probably as sweet as they're gonna ever get. Absolutely beautiful. And these onions, look at these onions. Look how beautiful that looks. They're just like glazy sweet. Mm. Oh yeah, hot. And you don't have to use this kind of a steak. You can get a chuck roast, you can get a rump roast. Put whatever you want in this. Use the liquid formula that I have down below. The recipe's down below. So there you go, guys. It's braised cowboy steak. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for buying my barbecue sauce on Amazon Prime. Grab yourself some bottles. If you don't have any, you should be grilling by now. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.